And today we're going to talk about assertions. So we're going to use Chai assertion library and we're going to verify three things. Uh, but before we start, here's what we're doing. We have a test that sends an API request uh, to get a random check noise joke and it should get a new joke upon each request. So we're sending two jokes, first one right here, second one right here, and then we verify three things. Uh, jokes are not the same. Uh, URL contains expected base, not the case. And we verify status code. So if we run it with the npm test command, uh, you will see that it passes. But there is not only expect, we also have something called assert, uh, which is another part of um, Chai Jazz library. But some people uh, might say that expect is better than assert. Some people might say assert is better than expect. Or there is also a ch uh, there is also should. It's a third one. But actually, should will not work this way. Should is kind of uh, its own thing. So it should be something. It should be required like this. Uh, require chai and then should as a function, I believe. I think that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, so yeah, there are three ways to verify things with, with Chai, expect, assert, and should. Uh, so in my opinion, they pretty much do the same job uh, and it's just your own preference of the syntaxes, but I'll show you all three ways verifying the same test so you could see how to write them and you could find out uh, whichever you prefer. So let's use assert as the second one. So we verify the jokes are not the same. So in this case, we're gonna copy the first joke. Um, actually, you know what, let's make it beautiful. Or no, not really. Let's not make it beautiful, let's keep it ugly. Assert, um, I believe it's not equals not equal it just gave me an option so that's the first first joke then we're gonna grab the second joke put it right here uh okay so that's pre that's pretty much it so we're using assert from there we're saying uh, these should not be equal uh, let's do the same thing for verify contains expected base of the url uh, so it's going to be assert Assert includes, I believe. Assert include, okay. Uh, assert include. This should include that URL. And by the way, yeah, you better put it in the variable. We already copy pasted four times, but we're gonna ignore it since uh, we don't really care about that at the moment. And the third one should be assert equals or equal all right whatever it asks me so we're gonna paste this one and then paste 200 okay let's run this test make sure they all work i didn't mess anything up and i did not awesome so now let's add should that's a third one so should um i don't know what was the syntax is for the should let's see uh should not equal oh, okay should not equal and then we pass those two values inside and it's just going to verify they're not the same and then as not assert but should and then these should include and then once again, we pass same things. I guess this one is pretty much the same as assert uh, on line 10. I'm sorry, line 18 and 17. And the third one should be uh, should equal. Once again, uh, this one also looks the same. Boom, let's run it. Make sure they all work. Oops, they, they do not should include that's not the case um let's see what would be should maybe contain let's try it uh, contain include hmm. let's see contains no includes 
Give me an option. Config includes. There is no such an option. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so should include is not a function. Should not equal works. Let me just copy this one. Maybe there is not even an option for that. Should not exist, should equal, should throw, should, okay, let's just give it a shot with a contain. Should contain, but I believe that one will not be an option as well. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore this one. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to check it out later. But anyways, uh, this is how the syntax is, uh, how, how the syntax looks like for all three of them. Uh, so expect you put a value dot not uh, to equal and you put a second value, assert not equal, blah, blah, blah. So for my C expect takes a little more writing because you gotta say dot no dot to dot equal. And then with assert you just say assert not equal, uh, should dot not dot equal. Once again, so this seems to be the fastest uh, one, I guess. I mean, the last symbols right here, a little more right here, with just an extra dot between the words. And the third one is um, with the most symbols, expect that not that to that equal. Yeah. So in my opinion, the third is the fastest one to write. I would probably use that, but it's your opinion. Um, I should second one expect third one uh, for this uh, pretty much the same thing with a, with an exception of should because i'm not even sure how we would do it with a should and then uh, these three are still the same assert should exactly the same and expect is a little longer to write but uh, whichever adder messages you prefer actually it's a good point let's uh, compare adder messages so this one is going to fail. Oops, let's just comment that one out. We're gonna run a test. Let's see, assertion, expect 200 to equal 100. Expect equal, okay. How about we change this one to 200 and we compare it with the assert. Let's see, should versus assert. Um, they're exactly the same, there, there are no actual differences. Let's compare it with expect. Exactly the same thing. So there are no differences at all if we ever find same thing. So once again, it's only your syntax preference. Uh, thank you for joining us for this video. You have a wonderful day.